Hey guys, so I'm a control system engineer and a uh, project engineer. Um, so I got two degrees basically, um, electrical and computer engineering. And I'm installing a panel for this water tower um, so that it's an upgrade actually. Um, so that we can see everything from uh, anywhere in the world basically. So. In order to start doing that, we ordered a Tossy box. So this is actually it's actually one of my first sites. So um, just started this job. So it's pretty cool. So we, we got a Tossy box. So this is going to receive um, a signal from like Verizon or something. And I went ahead and ran the power to it. So we got um, common ground, blue power, and uh, earth ground, I guess. And then I need to fill out these two LTE signals. So I got a antenna, antenna, and I loosely mounted it for now. I'm gonna bring it up and then bring these two wires, two of these wires, two of them for LTE and two of them for Wi-Fi. We're not gonna use the Wi-Fi. Then we're gonna run it into these grommets down here, up in there, make it watertight. I'm gonna put them into these LTE. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll be back. All right, so after updating my manager and letting him know that I'm I'm doing pretty good by myself for the first time, and especially considering I'm brand new at this, um, I went ahead and, and did, like I said, I gave this a really nice bondage. Mm. Run that through the bottom. Gotta pop this sucker off. Uh, I don't know who took the internet cable, but I went, in, went into my truck and found another spare internet, Ethernet cable. Plug it into here. Usually it's in this uh, um, switch, but we don't need we don't need that anymore because the Tossy box actually comes with a switch built into it, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put that in the LAN one. Um, I can make this pretty. I'm gonna hide it up in this panel. You see how it's all wiry in there? I can do the same up there. Um, I'm gonna pop this off for later. And that's where we're gonna connect our computer and up, upload to there. All right, so now I have all these wires and stuff I'm gonna have to cut. Oh, I just wanna focus. And it's gonna be coming from this panel. And this panel, as you can see, is reading PSI. Can you see? Come on. It's reading PSI um, and that's gonna be from the water tower if it doesn't already which it looks like it doesn't um, they're gonna tap a line out there and run a copper pipe all the way over here so that we can get a pressure reading yeah right there that's where the water's gonna come in go up in here and give us a pressure reading and then that's gonna go up into here oh actually it's gonna go up into here because see that's the why is it unfocusing so much that's gonna go up in here, give us a four to 20 milliamp. So it's kind of like an oxygen sensor on your car. Um, when it's reading, when the temperature of your exhaust is low, it's gonna read a very low voltage and it's gonna send a signal up. Now, if it's really bad, then it's gonna be below four milliamps. And that's gonna let you know that it's not working at all. <laughs> but four to 20 milliamps is gonna come in through here. It's gonna read the pressure, come in through there, come up in here. Now I got a wire this end using this cable all the way in it's going to come in through these pipes and come back out here from the bottom down in there and i gotta wire that into um these three so it's gonna be ground the bottom one's gonna be ground second one's going to be uh, common ground and the top one's gonna be power and then I'll go ahead and do that and I'll talk about this wire next. All right. That's all wired up, that's a pressure meter. And man, these wires did the hell. God oh, damn, this thing must have been stiff. Man, they used the thickest motherfucking wire they ever done used. Man, ain't you know no bend on on in there. Don't bend over for me, man. Uh, damn. Well, the L, and I was like, oh. Common L. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Oh, well. 
All right, so that was a struggle. Those things are just like too stiff, but I managed to get these panel things back on the covers. This box is done, um, aside from obviously needing power or needing water up to here. Um, uh, as far as my stuff is concerned, it's pretty much done. Is there power in this box right now? Oh man, that thing's on there good. I'm gonna have to use two hands or something when I get a chance. And then this side is done, I think. I just gotta put these panels on again. Uh, click them on one side. And then, oh, that was the easiest one ever. And that was with one hand. All right, just gotta do it. The middle one too, that one's gonna, that one's gonna need two hands. All right, so it looks like both breakers are off. Oh boy. Here comes the scary part, I get to flip them. All right, nothing exploded. Freaking power. All right, don't have anything hooked up there. I'm gonna power this thing in. Okay, Let's turn this breaker on. Cool, um, obviously it's not reading any pressure because there's no pressure. All right, and then I gotta power this one on, and this one on. Oh, 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 that doesn't sound good. Okay, Whew. I didn't like that. It never did that before. All right, I mean, nothing, nothing broke. PLC is receiving power. It's not programmed yet, so that's the next thing we gotta do. Um, Tossy box should take about a minute for all the lights to turn on. Everything's good in here still. Cool, cool, let me grab that. All right, man, that was scary. I didn't like that noise. <laughs> Time to grab the laptop, log in, and I'm surprised, my phone almost overheated. It's been so hot with the sun out. Thankfully there's a cloud right now. <sighs> all right, and I'll be right back. All right, so, man, this shirt is probably wet. Um, so update on that buzzing. So it was buzzing a lot. Um, and I plugged in my laptop to get, um, cause my computer runs a lot better when it's plugged in, even, even though I have it set to always be performance. And the, uh, this box started buzzing. Um, I don't know where it was buzzing from, but it started buzzing. Both of those panels started buzzing. So went ahead and called the water manager. Um, I called my field operator first, but he was busy. Then it didn't answer, so I called the water management guy, um, the actual manager, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna send an electrician out this way because um, I'm not the one who had anything to do with the power supply. So, um, yeah, I mean they're they're already out here. Well, they're at one of these like 16 freaking towers doing something. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait for them. This is one of the farther out towers too but yeah hopefully they'll be here soon you can kind of hear the cicadas way back in the distance um kind of sounds like somebody driving on brand new mudding tires really fast <laughs> but uh last week i was out here and you couldn't go two feet without getting smacked in the face with a cicada there were so many cicadas um, now it's really just bumblebees doing the diddly, but yeah, I haven't really seen a whole lot of, a whole lot of cicadas at all anymore. I don't know where the heck they went. It's crazy because they were swarming like crazy. And now a week later, they're nowhere to be found except maybe where this black widow is. Um, and it's eaten, it's eaten three of them so far. Thing's fat. Fatty. It's got two red marks, actually. Huh. Weird. But yeah, just waiting on electrician. I don't want to plug my shit in and have it explode. Le especially on my computer when I plug it in. Um, but yeah. Uh, just waiting. Alright, so electrician came out. He uh, dilly-dallied with the, the two breakers in there. T took them out. Swapped places. They were sizzling a lot. Um... 
he said they're going to probably have to come out and replace them entirely. Uh, but he's got it right now to where it's pretty much stable. Um, so it's not sizzling or anything right now. But he said for now it'll be good. So hopefully they change that sometime soon and hopefully it doesn't mess up anything that I've done. <laughs> All right, so plug in the wire into my computer. I got to actually open up a uh, virtual machine because for some reason the program that I'm using um, doesn't doesn't like uh, Windows Access for some reason and it has a, some type of conflict and of course being a work computer it has to have a whole window set up for work um, anyway so I had to load up the virtual machine and for some reason the virtual machine does a lot better when it's plugged in um, and it crashes a lot less anyway loads a little bit faster got that open got the program opened and then of course um, I had to set the path so it knows that it's coming from USB into here so it knows that the, that this is the destination for the program to go to I already did all the all the programming last month I think um, did all the programming tested it from what I could without anything to actually test it on <laughs> and everything worked fine with no build errors or nothing like that. Uh, made sure I had the correct number of IF4s. You can see IF4 up there. Um, this is just an analog attachment basically. Um, and now I am currently, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it wants my destination again for some reason. Oh, now it's not saying it again. Oh, now it just did. Dang, now it try that again. USB, number nine. Okay. And you see that's a visual reputation of what controller I'm working with. Um, now it should be trying to, yep. it's having a stroke, which means it's, it's building everything, calculating everything, all my inputs, and it's gonna download it to here um, and then hopefully if everything goes well I won't have any faults and then oh we gotta all right so we gotta download current project to the controller if you try to upload you'll actually you'll take whatever programs in here and upload it to your computer and it'll erase everything that you've been working on so don't do that <laughs> um, so it's still trying to build you see down there at the bottom all right, so download with project values, you'll want to do that. Um, that way it knows what your range is, like 4 to 20, um, 0 to 100, you know, things like that for your scaling, temporary scaling anyway. Um, it's still downloading, still processing everything. Pretty much it should be good to go in a few. I'll know it's ready when this screen wants to remote run, so we're gonna go to yes. And then it should swap screens automatically for me into the inputs. Man, this, oh no, I didn't mean to click nothing. It should automatically go to the inputs. <laughs> there we go, inputs. All right, so I know you can't see a whole lot, but this is obviously a, a, rep a representation of the digital inputs, which are up here. It's these, these ones, this is analog inputs. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to what we care about, which is the tank level, which is all the way up there. And it's calculating all that based on pressure, I believe. We're gonna have to minimize the bottom of this. So we're reading a tank level input of 4,000, which means it's, you know, cause it's four to 20. So 4,000 to 20,000. Um, reading 4000 which means that it's getting power it's it's doing it it's doing its thing but it's gonna be at zero because this bad boy is at zero so four four is zero so when it's at 20 it's at 100 percent pressure which is crazy high usually we're gonna be around 60 i guess for this water treatment place um this is just how what they usually keep their stuff around is 64 i think so that would be probably about uh, maybe 
14,000 on tank level input. But yeah, so everything's good to go. I'm pretty much done here. Um, nothing else I can do until they route water to that spout out there to here. So, yep, I'm pretty much done here. Actually, one other thing. Um, I do actually have to check that the Tossie box is working. So we're going to, we're gonna open the Tossie box website. We're gonna connect to the, um, the, so I put a central Tossie box at the water treatment plant. Um, and it receives all the signals. We're gonna connect to that one. And let's see, this one is, what is this one called? This is CSH Kid, and we are receiving signal. So, we are good. VT SCADA is getting an input, which means I can do pretty much anything else at home, anywhere in the world. With that done, I am now headed to another site. Look at that. There's just, there's just so many water tanks in this county. Uh, air conditioning is so nice. I'm also, like, stupid dehydrated, and I haven't eaten lunch yet, and it's, like, 2 o'clock.